Around noon, Dorian Johnson said he and Brown were walking down this street when a Ferguson police officer confronted them and told them to use the sidewalk. The officer then stopped his car only inches away from the pair and tried to open his door, but the door bounced off the pair and closed on the officer. A struggle ensued, and that's when the officer, 28-year-old Darren Wilson, drew his weapon and fired the first round, hitting Brown. The two ran off and Wilson continued after them. Johnson says he next hid behind the first car he saw and witnessed the officer get out of his vehicle, follow Brown, and fire at the fleeing team. According to Johnson, an injured Brown next got on his knees and put his hands up to indicate he had no weapon. The officer continued shooting at Brown several times. Ferguson police offer a different account. Police say Wilson initially stopped the pair for jaywalking and was unaware Brown was a robbery suspect. It wasn't until Wilson saw the stolen items in Brown's hand that he backed up to question the men further. Police said Brown physically assaulted Wilson and during the struggle reached for the officer's gun. One shot was fired in the car, followed by several more, which led to Brown's death. An independent autopsy contracted by Brown's family revealed he was shot at least six times. Only three of the bullets were recovered from his body. He was shot four times in the right arm and twice in the head. One of the two bullets entered the top of his skull, suggesting his head was bent forward when he was shot. Another went into his right eye, through his face, exited from his jaw, and re-entered his collarbone, causing several wounds. The autopsy also found Wilson fired the fatal shots from one to two feet away.